Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology and in today's video we are going to be doing our weekly predictions for our Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the week of June 19th through June 25th. What can they expect? What should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them. Right. Quick disclaimer for a lot of you guys, this energy may be happening in chronological order throughout the week. For other you guys, this energy may be happening sporadically throughout the week, so just take what resonates with you guys. All right. So we've got the Eight of Cups in reverse. We have the moon card in reverse. We have the high priestess in reverse. Are all these cards in reverse? That's what it looks like. No, it's not. Get two more cards for my Pisces. You got the three of wands coming through. Let me get one more card. And we have the chariot. Back of deck energy is the hierophant. So Pisces, a lot of you guys may be doing some research, um, looking up some different things right now pertaining to um, schooling. You know, some of you guys may be thinking about going back to school to, you know, get another trade or to enhance your knowledge on some things. Um, the hair fin also can be you guys, you know, searching when it comes to spirituality, you know, your spiritual gifts. I don't know why it looks like, it looks like my camera is freaking cricket some kind of way. I don't. I guess that's all right. Um, so yeah, with the Hierophant energy, I really do feel like you guys may be, you know, looking and searching, diving deeper, like into your spirituality or your spiritual practices, um, things that you want to be successful in, especially if it has something to do with like schooling and researching and furthering your career in some aspect. Um, with the Eight of Cups being in reverse, Pisces, I really feel like um, during this week, you may have been thinking about like searching deeper into yourself for your spirituality. A lot of you guys, you know, you may not fully understand the feelings or the emotions you have towards your spirituality. Um, you may be seeking other people or wanting to seek for other people who are like-minded, who understand you when it comes to spirituality, who are needing, you know, your help or you're needing their help, their assistance. Um, the Eight of Cups is the energy of soul searching when it's in the upright position, but when it's in reverse, I really do feel like you guys are going to be kind of standoffish, but yearning to, you know, find yourself and do more for yourself. With the moon card being in reverse, this is letting me know um, a lot of you guys may be thinking the worst when it comes to spirituality. You may be thinking the worst of a situation that may make you feel emotional during this time. You have the high priestess here that's in reverse. So there's something that you're holding back from yourself. Usually when I see the high priestess card, I'm, you know, talking about secrets being held you know, withheld from other people, but I really feel like Pisces, um, you guys are holding back from your true self, holding back from being your true self and, you know, advancing in that and ignoring your intuition. It's like you're knowing what it is that you need to be doing, but you're ignoring it because you're just like, I don't know how this is going to make me look, nor do I know how this is going to make me feel. You also do have the Three of Wands energy. 
and I feel like with the three of wands energy you guys are going to create a strategic plan that you're going to be able to follow when it comes to like soul searching for yourself a strategic plan that is going to help you grow and advance in your life I do see with the chariot card some of you guys are going to be planning some type of travel um, or some type of trip very soon um, also with the chariot card I do see things moving forward gracefully for you so with this energy for this week you're you're really trying to find yourself that's your duty that's one of your callings for this week to do is to dive deep into what it is that you love and what it is that you like to do and create a plan surrounding that so you can move forward so we're going to get into the numerology card so we can see what our Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs are needing to focus on during this week. So we have number 19, Pride. So it's a great time for you guys to put your pride to the side, not be too prideful. Um, number 5, being open to change. So change is inevitable. And it's like the change is saying, okay, you know, things are changing. We got to get with the program. You know, we've got to go with this flow. And then you have number 81, leadership. So there may be a change in your leadership, you know, in your work or in schooling. Or you may have to become a leader. All right, let's get into the Black Moon Astrology card so we can see what our Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Suns are. Are needing to mainly focus on and you guys have the ninth house faith so that's beautiful this energy came out we've got the hierophant here that's talking about spirituality as well so the ninth house which is ruled by Sagittarius that energy is coming through so a lot of you guys are going on some sort of spiritual journey so let's get into this ninth house faith we travel some of us forever to seek other states, other lives, other souls. Obstacles are being lifted. The ninth house in astrology is the house position for the sign Sagittarius and is ruled by the planet Jupiter, the planet of openness, luck, and expansion. This area of the traditional horoscope wheel is the house of travel, philosophy, high-mindedness, and also religion. The ninth house represents a search for meaning through established structures, things to do with government and religion may come about whenever the ninth house is included. Destiny, fate, and karma all come into play as well as your view of what God may or may not be. It is the house of erudite knowledge, higher learning, lawyers, doctors, and astrologers. It is most definitely of the higher mind and our need to unite with something greater. In this way, the ninth house represents churches and schools, especially ones that are old, established, and scholarly. Since it opposes the third house of communication and writing, the ninth house represents publishing and influences through the written word. It speaks of a forum for written ideas and concepts, also of joining a reputable literary world. So this house is important in the charts of writers or anyone who wishes to bring their ideas into a forum, usually planet-wide. It is the house of open ranges, journeying, and opportunity. The ninth house also represents esoteric matters like psychics, psychic affairs, the new age, counterculture gatherings, or places where offbeat people gather together for some visionary cause. It also represents the relevance of obtaining psychic information. I apologize about that. Of uh, psychic information, the Rosicrucians, an esoteric organization based on ancient structures, are symbolized by the ninth house. With this card, it is time to consider your impending plans in the broadest terms. It means you will have to go outside of your ordinary life to achieve your goals. Long distance travels, journeys, and voyages to unknown places may figure in regarding your question. The ninth house is the house of explorers and pilgrims, where there is a quest and a destination. It is where we seek guidance and understanding. The possibility of returning to school and furthering your education is likely in the near future. 
The most mundane meaning behind the ninth house card is traveling to distant places. Usually when this card appears, the reason is for knowledge or for broadening of understanding. There will be a desire to visit places of arcane wisdom and knowledge where you can expect the history behind the area to be very well documented. The journey will be an uncharted one of deep or mysterious exploration. Scriptures or religious books may figure in. There will be longing to connect with something greater than the individual self. Occasionally, this card indicates a temporary disconnect from close family where we where you depart from your known life into another, one as a pilgrim or a seeker. The Church of Rome is represented by the Ninth House card and also represents alternative religions like modern paganism, Wicca, a star, and so on. If your question is about love, one or the other person needs freedom. There won't be commitment anytime soon. In short, this card indicates that you are about to depart on an important journey. It may be an outward voyage. It may be an inward exclusion. Either way, you will be changed through the process. This card has to do with what has been tried and tested and what is already established. No matter how expansive or broad-minded, it will be rooted in traditional. This energy is the three of wands, period. And you got the three of wands energy right here, you guys. So it's a great time for you to start planning and executing those plans, especially with the chariot card being right next to it. Especially if you guys have been thinking about going to school um, being involved in a church, you know, being some sort, some kind of teacher. And let's get one more. So we're going to shuffle the Moonology card so we can see what energies are surrounding. What energies are surrounding our Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs? So the first card to come out is the answers you need are coming with the full moon in Gemini. You guys also have believe in the impossible with the blue moon. We have meditate and contemplate with the moon, new moon in Pisces. We have look at the bigger picture with the full moon in Sagittarius. Right? So let's get into the Starseed Oracle card so we can see what messages you guys have from Spirit. that you guys have from spirit the first card is double mission light worker star seed serve the world by being you we have child of the cosmos the intelligence of the universe lies within you and lastly we have earth learning how to be human in the world but not of it so we're going to get into the positive affirmations for our Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Ooh. What positive affirmations do we have for our Pisces? Excuse me. Life is simple and easy. Life is simple and easy. All that I need to know at any given moment is revealed to me. I trust myself and I trust life. All is well. All that I need to know at any given moment is revealed to me. I trust myself and I trust life. All is well. I trust the process of life. I trust the process of life. There is a rhythm and flow to life and I am part of it. Life supports me and brings to me only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. There is a rhythm and flow to life and I am part of it. 
Life supports me and brings to me only good and positive experiences. I trust the process of life to bring me my highest good. I am safe. It's only change. Wow, and the change card came out for you guys. I am safe. It's only change. I cross all bridges with joy and ease. The old unfolds into wonderful new experiences. My life gets better all the time. I cross all bridges with joy and ease. The old unfolds into wonderful new experiences. My life gets better all the time. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, Pisces. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.